The sub-Saharan pay TV market has been dominated by one player so far. Now, Econet is planning to go head-to-head -head with multi-choice. It's a capital-intensive industry where a number of players have previously come and fallen away. Econet may have the deep pockets um, and may have the means to borrow, uh, which is more important. So they may be able to play a, play a long game, um, a five-year, ten-year um, kind of game. Econet operates the largest independent satellite and fiber optic infrastructure in Africa, which has now been repurposed to offer the pay television service across the continent. The group could easily convert its already significant mobile and internet client base into television subscribers. It would appear that Econet has the infrastructure side of the business in check. However, as is often said in the media industry, content is king. And that's where TV production houses come into play. In Zimbabwe, where there's only one TV station and therefore only one potential buyer of content, the news of Kweset TV has been welcomed, but there are issues that need to be clarified. The little bit of reading that I've done about, about what Kweset TV is all about, my understanding is that there's already content that, that's been, already been accumulated. Um, the only question I have is that how much of that content is local? And also being compensated for it, because I can make a program, but who's compensating, for, who's compensating me for it? Concerns that Econet will need to address if it intends to make a mark on an industry that has already been criticized for not having enough homegrown programming. But Econet is the biggest mobile operator in Zimbabwe, is one of the most valuable listed counters, owns the biggest internet service provider, runs the most popular mobile money service, and also owns a bank. With a track record like that, there are very few here betting against it to fail. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.